Hello and welcome to issue 31 of Belgium 3D Printer. Right, let's open up the magazine and see what we've got this week. We've got this little switch here by the looks of things. Uh, we've seen that one before. Uh, on this frame here. Just there, you can just see it. It's a little switch just there behind the thing there. That's one. Uh, let's have a look inside the magazine and see where it goes. Oh, small is beautiful, it says. Oh, there's the web, web access code, usual one. Uh, Okay, so if you had a look at twice at this photograph of vintage Bentley race car, you wouldn't be alone. The real thing is, in fact, a gleaming example of what can be achieved on a small scale 3D printer. Where it just looks big, doesn't it? But it's not actually because of the size of those stones next to it. So it looks like big, but it's just an optical illusion. Let's see. Uh, or we can build a boat. Okay, it's quite a speedboat, that's a police boat, that one is. Uh, 3D scale and 3D print and scale models from like a motorbike. Ducati 1199 superbike. Model T Ford. Small chairs. Oh, this is about the the design tutorial. You can make a block of something. Uh, pins and holes. Oh, this is the limit switch. So where does this go? Ah, oh, oh, I kind of thought it might go down. It's like, it goes... Right, it goes there somewhere. Oh, set of dominoes part one. Sydney Opera House. Uh, not puzzle, so you have to do it. Puzzle solution one, step two, step three, step four, customizing SketchUp, so you can add bits to it. Tailor made toolbar, you can have your own bits and pieces. Uh, undo, redo, standard views, layers, x-ray mode, things like that. And oh, it's a, not very much next week. Z-axis screw rod. I'm not sure where that goes. I thought all the rods were done, but... Okay, so that's for next week. Let's go back a few steps, a few pages, shall I say. Four screws. Well, I think we've yeah we've seen this switch before, and I'm a bit, a bit worried about it breaking. Be like, whoops! There goes two of the screws. So basically, make sure this goes the right way round. Don't want to clip it in the wrong way round. So, making sure that 
So it goes like that. Make sure it's the right way up. And that bit like that, so it goes in like that. Okay, so... So the switch goes that way, and it's that way up. Okay, so that's just... Don't want to break this. And you notice that this, I use the word fiddly lock, but that's because it is. So small parts. Oh, nearly. Oh, nearly. Oh, here we go. There you go, it's in. That's the way. And then, so I'm going to do that little bit. So basically, I see, oh, it goes in there. And then those, by the looks of it, those two wires go through that hole there. So let's move that out the way to make things easier. And then let's just, those two wires through that hole there. I'll just do two for now. I've just done two screws quickly. Yeah, that's what it looks like. And so, I mean, you kind of get the idea. So that comes down. So it kind of should stop it. You can hear it go click. That's to stop it from clicking, from going all the way down, I suppose. So that is that. So when oh, I see, because see, so you got what you've got. You've got that little bit there. 